Hi, I'm Tony from Yacht Controller and the Yacht Group, and today's video snippet is to discuss the Maximo new generation Yacht Controller and one of the great features that the product offers. Today we'll discuss the differences between incremental and proportional speed control of your engines, and we'll do it right from the helm. So to demonstrate this, we're gonna talk first incremental speed control. So obviously with the Porsche Design Toggle Controller Remote still being the very popular remote in the market, we wanted to bring this speed control option for customers that chose not to go with the wireless joystick. So in the case where on this toggle control, you have a lever that pushes down on a keypad membrane versus a wireless joystick where you have a swing or a sway in the joystick to allow for proportional control. I'll demonstrate that. So taking command right now via the toggle controller, you'll see now how I take command and transfer power. And you'll see on the bottom right screen where the acceleration is off. So standard to the yacht controller system, in the standard mode, you're just gonna have engine idle speed with no indication of speed control at all. When you push the S button on the remote, it will scroll through the parameter settings. And I'll go more into detail with the parameter settings later. But on this speed control setting, for example, here, you have a 10% increase in speed with a ramp up time of five seconds. And the ramp up time is very important and proprietary to the yacht controller system because it truly allows for a smooth transition as you generally increase the speed of your vessel so that you eliminate any cavitation or vibration. So as I'm toggling, for example, here the starboard engine, I am increasing to 10% within that five second time frame. Now, that is incremental speed. I do not have the ability to hold in between the zero to 10% in this setting. I can either go full 10% or release the toggle and instantly go back into neutral. Same would be in reverse or the other engine as well. So that is your definition of incremental speed where you have the ability to increase your speed, however, at a fixed setting. Now I'll demonstrate proportional speed control via our wireless joystick. So here I now have the wireless joystick in hand. Again, as I stated, once you take command, it will automatically go into engine idle speed. So in order for you to access the speed control, again, you would press the S button. And in this case, for example, you have 10% speed again with a five second ramp up time. But what changes here is the ability to proportionally control that speed, where I can now hold at 2%, 3%, or I can go all the way full bore to the full 10% setting, also backing down and controlling and staying at a fixed percentile. As you see here, where I'm holding at 8%, going back to 9% or gradually decreasing the speed. So that true proportional control is now available via the wireless joystick for a real precise controlled movement of your vessel. Again, proprietary to the yacht controller system where we have the versatility to set up to five speed settings. And what's great about this is we also have the flexibility to adjust these parameters with a fine tuned setting. And I'm showing here as indicated here in the screen where I can go in and configure these speed settings. What's great about this is the versatility where we can make these adjustments by a single percentile. What I've seen on traditional boats, straight shafts with traditional size wheels and engines, a single percentile will increase or decrease your RPM speed setting by 30, 40 RPMs. So you get a real true versatile experience when we're making these adjustments. Now, because we have the redundancy for five settings doesn't mean that we have to leave it at five settings. I can immediately remove two settings and allow you to stay with three. So these are all adjustments that can be made at time of delivery. Uh, we'll, we'll go through this whole process. We'll make these changes. We'll go out and see trial the boat and make sure that these settings are comfortable for the user. Now, we talk about the ramp up time where the ramp up time is a great feature as well because you don't wanna have a 12% or a 15% or even a 20% speed setting 
where you have a ramp up time of a second or two, where you're going to have kind of the experience of just slamming the throttles where the boat just lurches in the gear, a potential risk danger for other people on the boat, or even yourself if you're standing on the swim platform. So now to demonstrate the proportional control of your thrusters via our wireless joystick, as you see here, as I control the toggle and push the toggle over to the starboard direction, I'm going to be able to ramp up the control of that thruster, again, proportionally, as I discussed. So in a proportional movement, I have the ability to hold the thruster speed at certain settings, or obviously I can continue to gradually increase it all the way up to 100%. And obviously back down where I can then reduce the speed, holding the speed at certain settings, giving you that true proportional control. Now, the reason why I went to that first clip where I showed you this, the settings where both thrusters were 100%, there are many occasions where typically the stern being the heavier end of the boat, where you wanna have true side lateral movement and you wanna have the ability to maybe make some changes in the speed settings to the bow and stern thruster. So in this case, I'll simulate this back again, back to the speed settings where say, for example, here at the stern, I wanna keep it at 100% and at the bow, I wanna maybe decrease it to 80%. So I'm gonna demonstrate that now as we've completed the real-time modifications to the speed settings. As you saw, I gave 80% to the bow and 100% to the stern. So now when you're toggling the wireless joystick over, for example, to the port direction, again, still keeping that proportional control, but if you push all the way over, you're gonna have that 80% at the bow and 100% at the stern to ideally give you a more side lateral movement. Again, being able to test these and make these adjustments, we can make these changes on the fly during delivery or remotely accessing them with the Wi-Fi accessibility. So those are the two differences. Those are the differences between proportional and incremental speed control. I've also demonstrated our versatility to adjust finite speed settings by a single percentile. We can also remove or keep all five configurations. We can dial it down to one configuration. But what's great is the ability to adjust these by the single percentile, which really sets us apart from any wireless control in the market. Not only do we offer the versatility, we offer the flexibility, and we offer the greatest user experience. Thank you.